Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson we are looking at multiply by tens and we are on page 239. Alright, let's begin by looking at our story problem. Paula wants to arrange her stickers into three rows of 20. What are the different ways to find the number of stickers she has? Okay, so she wants to do them into these rows. Now notice here that 3 times 2 equals what? 3 times 2 equals 6. So what would 3 times 20 then be? All right. Well, notice here what we could do. We could take this 20 and we can break it into 2 and 10. Because 3 times 2, or sorry, because 2 times 10 equals 20. So I could do 3 times 2 equals 3 um, and then multiply it by 10, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 10 equals 60, right? And we see that down here, okay? So here we have this, and then we break it up into um, 6 groups of 10, and 6 times 2 is, or 6 times 10 is 60, okay? So she has 60 stickers, right? Okay, so let's look at page 240. All right, so here we're going to multiply 5 times 20. 20 times 5, so we can do 20 times 5 is the same as 10 times 10. See how we just rearranged it? We took this group right here and moved it up onto the top, and now we have Right here is that and that, okay? So now 10 times 10 and 10 times 10 is 100, okay? So there are 10 tens. All right, now let's do this one. Five times 30, all right? What we can do is take the five and multiply it by the 10 and we get 15. All right, now we have to do 15 times 10. How do we do that? Okay, so 3 times um, 5 times 3 tens equals 15 tens. Now, earlier when we were just doing single digit, remember we had the number, let's do 5 times 10. Remember I told you you have the 5 in the ones place, right? And when we multiply it by 10, we move it over. So now it's in the tens place. And I need a zero to hold that one's place, so it is 50. All right? On this one, we now have 15 times 10. So 15 times 10. I'm going to take the 15, and I'm moving the 5 to the tens place, the 1 to the hundreds place. Oops. The, moving the 5 to the tens place the one to the hundreds place. I'm just shifting everything over to the left. Well, what do I need to put there to hold that place value? I need a zero, okay? So it's going to be 150, all right? Three times 20, right? So three times two is six. I'm multiplying by 10, so I have to move it over to the tens place, and that means a zero goes there. Now. I want you to understand about how we're moving place value. That'll be really important as we get further into our studies. But another easy way to understand this is when you have a zero on the end, multiply the two numbers. Two times five is 10, and put the zero on the end, right? So that's another way to think to it. But the reason that works is because we're shifting. When I multiply by 10, we're shifting the place value to the left. All right, so here, what would be 6 times what would be 240? Well, how many times does 24, or how many times does 6 rather go into 24? 24 divided by 6 equals what? Equals 4. But you can see here we shifted the place value over, right? We moved the 4 from the 1s to the 10s place. We moved the 4 from the 10s place to the 100s place. So what do we have to multiply? We had to multiply by a 10, okay? And 40 is a 10. 
So that's how we do that. All right, let's go in here to practice on your own. And let's see how we do here. Okay, you're gonna do pages 241 and 242, right? And so go ahead and do this. Um, this first one's kind of weird. Here you have the 10, and the 10's being pulled out right here. So to find this, you're gonna multiply these two numbers, okay? And then this one will follow that same pattern, right? Okay, go ahead and try these two pages, uh, and then we will review when you're done. Go ahead and pause now. All right, so hopefully we're able to do this, okay? So here we see that the 10 was pulled out, okay? So we're take, so this is three times 10, right? And we've taken that 10 and we put it over here, okay? So now we just need to do four times three is 12. And then 12 times 10, I shift the place value over one, which means there's nothing in the ones place, so I put a zero there. All right, same thing here, three times four is 12. 12 times 10, I put 12. I shift everything over one place value, so there's nothing in the ones place, so I have to put a zero there to hold that place value. Here, three times or six times three is 18. I'm multiplying by a 10, okay, because 30 is an in increments of 10. I have to shift the place value over, which means there's nothing in the ones place, so I have to put a zero in the ones place. Three times eight is 24. 30 is a, is a 10, so I'm multiplying it, um, so I have to shift everything over, one place value to the left, so this becomes a 200. A two in the hundreds, a four in the tens, I need a zero in the ones place. Now here, I need to do division to figure this out. Eight divided by four is two, but now two times two is eight. I need everything to be able to shift over to make that an 80, so this has to be a 20. Here, I'm gonna use division. Six divided by two is three, but three times two is six. Remember, so I need to make this a 30, so that it shifts the place value over to make that a 60. Here, I have 14 divided by two, so that's gonna be a seven. And so, it's two times seven, or two times seven is 14, and this 10 forces everything over and a zero in the ones place, so it's done. All right, so what's the pattern here, okay? Um, so here you see that we multiply a times b equals c, right? So a times b equals c. So here we gotta do seven times 30. So seven times three is 21. This multiplying by 10 forces everything over so there's nothing in the ones place. So I have to put a zero there. Here, six goes into, well it can't go into three. How many times will it go into 30? It'll go in five times. And there's a zero here that's pushed, that means that it was pushed over. So that means that one of these has to be a 10 we know this one's not it because the book tells us, so that means this one's a 10. Right here we have 25 divided by five equals five. Now we see here that this was pushed over, but this is the one that did it, so we don't need to do it here. If we did 50 and 50, it would be five and five equal 25, and two zeros would mean we're being pushed over two, right? If that's two tenths, so we'd have to be pushed over once, that would make it 250, and then we'd have to push it over again, and that would make it 2,500 or 2,500, okay? So make sure you don't do 50 there, okay? All right, let's turn over to page 242. All right, here, this is a 20 times machine, right in the missing number. So every time you multiply by 20, so here we're gonna multiply by 20. Three times two is six, Move it over one place value because you're multiplying by a 10. That means we have to put a zero in the ones place. Here, we need to divide by 20, okay? So 10, so divided by 20, okay? So 10 divided by two is equals five, right? And then here we see there's a 20 here, so that's where that zero comes from, okay? So this is uh, what we um, would have multiplied. So now, let's check it, five times 20, does that equal 100? Five times two equals 10. We're multiplying by 10, so we have to shift it over and add a zero on the end, right? So here, when it goes in, it multiplies it by two, 
and then it multiplies it by 10 coming out. All right. Um, down here we see that 4 times 2 times 10 equals 80. Here would be 3 times 20 is 60, which is where I got. And we could even do it this way. We could do 3, 3 times 2 times 10 equals, 3 times 2 is 60 times 10, or no, sorry. Getting confused here. 3 times 2 equals 6, right? 3 times 2, then multiply it by 10, equals 60. And so what number would equal, um, would equal 20 here? It'd have to be 5, because 5 times 2 equals 10, and 10 times 10 equals 100. Right? And that's what we were trying to get to. All right. Uh, this was a little bit tricky. Um, just do your best. Um, if you want to revert back to what I said, when you're multiplying by a 10, all you're going to do is put a 0 on the end. So 5 times 3 is 15 and put the 0 on the end. Right. So that's one way to think through it. That might be a little bit easier. Um, but place value is very important, so it's important that we understand that. All right. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you have a terrific day. Uh, good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.